In the previous video, we created the event frame generation analysis that will monitor the press status from now on. However, with the backfill function of analysis, it is possible to also backfill past periods in time. This means that the archive values for press status will be checked and event frames with dates in the past will be created accordingly. Let's backfill the data since today at midnight. And we have two possible ways of doing that. We could either navigate to a single element, let's say to press 1 in Houston, then select the downtime analysis in the list of analyses. From the right mouse context menu, select backfill recalculate. Another option is to backfill all the analyses in bulk and I will show you how to do it. You can use the management plugin in the navigator panel to backfill multiple event frames. Initially, all analyses in that AF database will be listed. To work with a specific set of analyses, so all the downtime analyses for all presses, you can define and save a search that will filter just those analyses. To do that, let's click on the green plus sign to add a new search. For the search name, enter press downtime analysis and select template under the add criteria dropdown. From the template dropdown, select press template downtime and click on OK. As a result, the list of analysis on the right hand side lists 12 analyses, so 4 from each location. To perform a backfill for all presses, click on the checkbox on the top of the list to select all presses. Now click on the blue Q backfilling or recalculation for 12 selected analysis link. Now for the start time enter AT, so today at midnight. And for the end time enter an asterisk, so now. Acknowledge that existing event frames in the time range will be deleted, then click on the Q button. Note that for an event frame generation analysis, uh, data is automatically deleted and recalculated, and this is the only mode allowed. Be aware that annotations on those event frames uh, will be lost. The backfilling column will show the progress of the backfill activity. After backfilling is completed, switch to the General tab and click on the blue Event Frames link. You will get a list with all event frames linked with that element. Thanks for watching.